guys, this is Liam 2.0 and I'm a basic YouTuber. You want to know why? Because I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone video. It's not my fault. I just love talking about my technology too much. I guess the idea for this video is simple and I guess it's a good idea. It's just a bit overused, but it's fine. Whatever. Let's get on to the video. We might be here for a while. I have a lot of apps on my iPhone. I guess people normally start off these videos by saying, hi, I have an iPhone 10, for instance, and we're going to be looking through it. I guess first we should start with the home screen. So of course, face ID, I'll just unlock it like that. And here we are. Next, what do we do? Like, start going through apps? So I have FaceTime, Calendar, Contacts, Maps, iTunes Store, App Store, Music, Podcasts, Utilities. This is, uh, this is where I just keep apps that come with the iPhone, and I use sometimes, but not all the time. Uh, second, Utilities? Okay, maybe I should be going through this. I didn't realize that I can't have two things of Utilities. I either need to name this something else or combine it. I'll, I'll worry about that later. We also have the Files app, which was a really cool idea. I love that Apple added that, except... Uh, I never really find a good use for it. We also have the clock app, and I use this a lot. I have all these different alarms that I can customize exactly to the minute when I want to wake up, depending on the day. You can also set a bedtime in here, which would be cool, and it gives you an alarm every morning, but, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have that. Uh, for some reason, I do have a time for Cupertino and New York, neither of which actually match the current time on my iPhone. Next, we have the Apple Store app, so I can buy Apple products really quickly, the Weather app, the Mail app, which I mostly use for YouTube and just personal stuff, and then I have my little social media folder where I have Twitter, Instagram, Remind, Skype, GroupMe, Facebook, and Discord. Some of those might not necessarily qualify as what you might count as social media, but they're all technically social media. I want to point out that I don't actually post anything on Twitter or Instagram, so don't worry about asking me for my account or whatever. An app I sort of skipped over, the Podcasts app. I love the Podcasts app so much. I'm going to use it as a little bit of a chance to advertise some podcasts. So Bacon and Eggs, a movie lovers podcast. If you like movies, go listen to that. If you like mythology and stories and stuff, you can go listen to the Myths and Legends podcast where this guy tells the actual stories behind some of our favorite like movies and legends and books. And it's really cool. If you're a nerd, you might like Fantastic Geeks and where to find them. Don't worry everyone, that's over now. We're gonna move on to the next page, and this is the more fun page, because I have all of my games right here. We have Minecraft, Terraria, Crossy Road, Psych, Hill Climb Racing, Drive Ahead, Sims Free Play, The Sims, Subway Surfers, Smashy Road, Highway Rider, Hill Climb 2, Pokemon Go, Fairly Breaks, Pixel, Pixel Gun 3D, Clash Royale, Toka Elements, Keepy Ducky, uh, Terraria Multiplayer, Clash of Clans, Roblox, Agario, and Minion Rush, and Hurricane.io. Yeah, I like to play games on my phone, in case you guys didn't realize, but I also like to edit photos on my phone. Of course, the iPhone X has like this amazing, amazing camera when you take pictures on it. Uh, there's always some stuff you can do to touch up in editing. I have Keynote, Photo Blur, something or other, Photoshop Express, Photoshop Mix, Photoshop Fix, and Lightroom CC. All of these Photoshop apps are like the mobile version of Photoshop, so it's really, really cool. I love it. I use it so much, but we're going to get out of that and move on to videos, because I also do a lot of video editing on my phone, believe it or not. Um, I have the Photos app, the Camera app, the Apple Clips app, I have iMovie, Adobe Clip, a green screen app, the YouTube Creator Studio, obviously I do YouTube, that's how I upload my thumbnails sometimes, Air Transfer, Filmmaker, something or other, mirroring 360 and air transfer again. I really love using my phone as a tool to make YouTube videos. For instance, I can upload something on my computer, go on vacation, and still be able to add a title, description, thumbnail, and all of that sort of thing. Random little interruption. I just had a great idea. Look at this. This is so cool. I can open up my camera app and you guys can like see me in two places at once. What if I turn it around? Can you like see? <gasps> you can see what I'm seeing. This is incredible. There's my audio recording. There's my video recording. Here's my dog. Look at my cute little dog over there sleeping on a pillow. Oh, she's so cute. I love technology so much. This is so cool. Next is the YouTube app itself. YouTube is one of my most used apps. I use this all of the time. Actually, we can go to the settings app and figure out exactly how much time I've spent on YouTube today, if it'll actually load, update to the current time. Here we go, I have spent 3 hours and 34 minutes on my phone, 1 hour and 37 minutes out of that was on YouTube. That is insane! Also, I should point out that I don't normally spend that much time on my phone in a day, uh, as you can see, 1 hour and 1 minute above average. But yeah, obviously YouTube is very important to me and I watch it all the time. Next we have the Kindle app, of course, for all my books. We have my Google Docs section with Google Slides, Google... Oh, wait, that's Apple Pages. How did that get... Whatever. We have Apple Pages, Google Docs, Google Photos, and Google Drive because... 
Google is a it's a really nice way to keep all of your files stored and organized in the cloud and I would totally recommend getting a Google account because it also means that you can subscribe to my channel. I'm <laughs> just kidding, you don't have to get a Google account, but I would appreciate it if you subscribe. Just kidding again, you don't have to subscribe. Why am I doing this? Uh, here's my random section where I have Spotify, Fitbit, Xbox, a calculator, Snap Stats, which shows you the stats of my phone, uh, my Wi-Fi router, I can control all my Wi-Fi in my house using that Linksys app, uh, Geekbench, which shows stats on my phone again, Amazon Alexa, Pandora, a printer app, Bitmoji, Kahoot, Movies Anywhere. Why is that Movies Anywhere app in my random? And that should go oh how do you do this hold down okay this movies anywhere app should go in my movies we also have the american idol app skin editor keep safe safari simbo lab planet fitness smart life and books the smart life thing is really cool because i have smart lights in my studio and if i click this button the lights go off in the room. Obviously, you can't tell because I have studio lights on, but you may be able to see a tiny difference. I have my movie section with Netflix, Prime Video, TV, and Movies Anywhere. I then have Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery because it's the ultimate game to play when you're feeling a little bit bored and you want to just get something done quickly and then come back to it later. Uh, we also have a Penguins game, which you guys should have seen me play on my channel. If you haven't, I'll link it in the iCards. And now down to the bottom of my screen where I keep my most used or most important apps like settings. Uh, the iMessages app, which I am on all the time. I love texting people. We also have the Chrome app because I don't really like Apple's Safari. It works, it just doesn't work as well as I'd like it to. And then the phone app, of course. Well, that video was a lot longer than I meant it to be. Uh, I've been recording for 11 minutes, but I still want to go through, I want to go through my photos. Is there anything particularly interesting in here? Oh, there's my pumpkin picture. Do you guys recognize that from the thumbnail of my Halloween episode, maybe? Here's when I took a picture of my iPhone next to the box at the exact time on the exact date that the box shows. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with that. Here's me in Kentucky. Once again, you might recognize that from one of my thumbnails. Here's when the TV show Star Wars Rebels got cancelled. <laughs> me when I was in the hospital. Me when I got my driver's permit. And me as an actual drawing. This is so cool, I completely forgot I had this. I'd say it's about time to end this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy, even if it was a little bit of a silly idea. And uh, hopefully you'll join me for another one. Bye!